This is Megan D'Angelo, Certified Legal Nurse Consultant. Mm -hmm. And Megan, you shared with me a strategy that you've used to get your name out there. Mm -hmm. And it was through a actual legal reporter. Tell us a little bit yeah. about that. So I connected with a legal reporter on LinkedIn who writes for a legal newspaper with a wide circulation in my area. He called me and ended up doing an interview that was on the front page of their issue, um, which went to 50,000 attorneys in their homes and is also in print in the offices and firms in our area as well. From and you've had attorneys contact you from that, right? Yes, correct. So I had someone call me, a firm call me right away, um, who actually went to my website from the article and filled out the contact form and said, hey, I want to work with you. Um, from there, he's actually a business attorney who happened to have a med mal case handed to him and um, we've worked on that for about a year and a half now and he called me a few months ago and said, I like this relationship so much that my partner and I have invested in the injury helpline and we want to set up a standing contract with you. So you've turned a business attorney <laughs> into a malpractice attorney. Correct. I love it. Correct. That is really inspiring. Yeah. And I know that um, you mentioned that you have a contact form that attorneys yes. can fill out on your website. Great advice. Yeah. A lot of nurses who have websites, you don't have to get very extensive. It can only be just a few pages. Mm -hmm. But having a place where an attorney can fill out information so that you can contact them is a very smart strategy. Thank you. It's on every page, so mm -hmm. it's very easy for them. And. Um, Actually, we had the same firm got an email from the Maryland State Bar, that's the state where I live, um, someone looking for an endocrinologist, and he said, "Don't you don't need an endocrinologist, you need her. All right, that's, that's so, amazing. Yeah. And I want to just ask about one more thing, because sure. I know you're a pediatric nurse. Yes. But you said you don't really get involved in pediatric cases. You're doing cases all over the map. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciate your... Uh, versatility, mm -hmm. your agility, that you're willing to get involved in a variety of cases. Thank you. I, um, I, I would be glad to do a PEDS case, they just haven't come my way. Right. So my, my thinking is, the basic tenets of nursing science are really universal. Mm -hmm. And so when I get, I've gotten inmate cases, wrongful death, um, elder abuse, so now I just learn. I just educate myself in the areas where I know I have a gap. The key is being responsive to yeah. the attorneys. We were talking about this in our event today, mm -hmm. that relevancy is not just about what you know and what you're learning. Relevancy is responding to the attorneys that are out there and what their needs are. And you're perfectly comfortable with that. And like anybody, you always know what you don't know. Yes. And you know you can always call another certified that's right. investments on a friend. And that's exactly what I do. I tap into experts when I need to. And um, from there, it, it's kind of funny. I, I keep getting inmate cases now. The one inmate <laughs> case the, was so successful that it was published in the local paper. Um, and that was from my work of finding the deviations. So another strategy that you're educating everybody about yeah. is when you're involved in cases, when they get written up, attorneys read about you. And then exactly. suddenly, they do believe that you're really the expert in that area. Right. And again, knowing you, I know that you're not going to just off the cuff, render an opinion, Correct. you're either going to do your research or contact somebody to help you with it. It's always informed, absolutely. And in that last inmate case, my I had two hours, it was sort of this race against the clock, just create, we need a new statement to go out. And so I literally just used the NANDA um, nursing diagnoses list and, and all of those failures I listed and that, that went right into the complaint. All right, congratulations. Thank and you. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you, Vicki.